Hello everyone. Just thought I'd jump on and do a really quick Facebook Live. I did say I would be back on today. And a little bit after two, but that I had to wait for hubby's birthday cake to finish cooking. So now that the cake is out of the oven and cooling, I can come on and do a quick live before hubby and son come back with lunch. So <laughs> This will be a very quick live. Let me just catch myself on my uh, iPad so I can see the comments and say hello to everyone. All right, there I am. Okay, well, thank you for joining me, everyone who is here. All right, so like I said earlier in the week, I'm gonna do a few lives this week. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm focusing on the new um, product coordination that has been released yesterday. Today we're going to focus on the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set and the punch, which are in the celebration. But the reason I'm doing them is because they coordinate with the beautiful paper that's part of the coordination release. So in this beautiful paper, we have the love hearts. I'll be doing a card with these later in the week. And then we have these beautiful flowers that coordinate with a little bloom punch. Sorry, wrong one. Where's the broom punch? I've hidden it. Here it is, the little bloom punch. All right, so that's why I'm doing today's cards. I'm gonna need those papers. And look, we've also got these beautiful umbrellas. I don't have the punch for that yet. It is on order and coming. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it. The, the flowers, the hearts, and the, the umbrellas. All so very pretty. All right, so. I'll show you the card I'm going to be making. Hello, Juanita. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And hello, Linda. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is the card that I made. Now, I was going to recreate this card, but I thought, hmm, let me try something different. And let me do a totally different design. And it's an idea I've had rolling around in my head and let's hope that it works hey so my idea is to still use all the same stuff so this striped circle here i've made with the one and a half inch punch and i'm going to do the same thing and it's just the reverse side of this floral paper and i'm just going to punch another one the same But this time I want to make like a wreath in the middle. So I'm going to put that down. Now I have no idea where this is going to work. So this is just in my head. It may turn out an absolute disaster. But you know, unless you try, you just don't know. So I'm going to just draw a pencil mark where this cutout goes, where this circle goes. All right. And this is where we get to experiment. And it's so much fun trying different things. So my idea was to use the same stamp. So I'm going to use the little vine here. Which is also pretty. Alright. And I'm still going to use the Granny Apple Green. Because, you know, it's just the best green on the planet. Hey, Sylvia. Thank you for joining me. Alright. And the idea is to stamp a wreath around that circle. And my disclaimer is... It looks okay in my head but whether it works okay in real life is another thing all right so on this stamp you'll notice um, these two opposing branches there's more leaves on this one than there is on this one so I want to have this one facing out so I get a fuller wreath and Now this may turn out horrible and then you'll all go, oh well, you know, but at least I tried and there's nothing like trying different stuff with your stamp set. So, you know, you just never know how something's going to turn out until you try it. Now some are going to overlap and, you know, but I have a problem with this one. They're all going to overlap. So we might just pop this one 
I could leave that even, couldn't I? And put a bow or something there. See, there you go. Gonna try that. All right, we're going to now stamp our little flowers. So these tiny little flowers. You could use this one, but to me it looks a bit of a, like a star um, or a snowflake. So I just love this gorgeous little flower here. So we're going to stamp that. And I'll use the same colour. So that was done in Blush and Bride. You just basically stamp this little flower where there's an end, like a stem. So cute, this little flower. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you say hello so I know that you're there. And this gets loaded onto YouTube later. So for anyone watching the replay, make sure you comment so I can say hello. Alright, now I don't think I have missed any. We'll see. Alright. So now this little bloom punch punches out these flowers. How cool is that? So I'm just going to randomly pick some flowers. I think I only need, what, four of them? Where'd it go? Come here. So they're going to go there. Now you see on this card, I actually stamped, I punched out some of the flowers, but then I also punched out and used the reverse side, so like some stripy flowers. I thought was that was something different. Hey Debbie, thank you for joining me. Alright, so I only need three flowers because um, I've only got three. So I want a purple one, I think. Or do I want to match this? I want pink. I'm gonna I'm gonna go maybe the orangey Eclipso coral one. I don't want blushing bride because my um, little flowers are blushing bride. So I wanted more colour. No, this might actually work if I could pick it up. All right, so now I'm going to rub out that circle. Now the ones that are stamped in the middle, those little leaves in the middle, they're not going to be seen because that um, circle punch, this is going to go over the top. So now I have to decide do I want my flowers on top of that circle or underneath? Because then we're going to have a white sentiment on top. So you can decide for me. Alright, see, so that is going to go on there. Alright, should I put the flowers on top? I think possibly, hey, I think they're going to look much better on top. So I'm just going to um, glue this on, straight on. Hopefully my stripes are straight. If the card was straight, that would help, wouldn't it? There we go. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Turned out um, better than I thought. Yes, I think on top to Sylvia. And I'm going to actually put them on the little dimensionals. Put the yellow one there because I've got yellow on that side so I don't want to put the blue one there hello Chris thank you for joining me lovely to see you here now this is just a really quick one because I'm between making a cake for my husband's birthday and him coming home with lunch so um, I'm trying and get this all done before they turn up 
with lunch. I'm missing a flower. There it is. Stop looking. I found it. Now we just have to stamp a sentiment, which we'll use something small. So I think the thank you, that's all that's going to fit on there from this stamp set. <clears throat> so if you're not aware, this stamp set that I'm using, the Thoughtful Blooms, you can get, <coughs> oh, sorry, free with a $90 order and the punch it goes with it is free with a $180 order and a paper pack <coughs> oh, sorry the coordination paper pack that goes with the punch which is where I punch these flowers from um, you can purchase that from yesterday available in my online store it's $20 a pack and it's really pretty really really pretty Coordinates with the three different punches in the mini catalog. Coordinates with this bloom punch, the heart duo punches, and the umbrella builder. So very versatile. I don't have the umbrella one yet, or the oh, I have the hearts. Yes, I do. It's just the umbrella one I don't have. Okay, we're just going to put that in the middle, and then I have a gap here, so I can either leave it. Or I can put a bow. So let me just check what colour ribbons I have. I don't really have anything that's going to go. So I think we'll use a bit of twine. So this is my favourite way of using twine when making bows. I just get a long length and I just keep doubling it up. Whoops. Doubling it up and then trimming it. And I think that I can make a bow out of that length. And now I've got four strands of twine and it's going to make a much nicer bow than if I just had one. One would get a bit lost. Now saying that, I'm a bit challenged with... Even with my new technique of making bows, I can be a little challenged with these when it's so small an amount of thread. So let's see if I can pull this off and now I'm pulling the wrong things. Oh, 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 I think I might have got it. I really should have cut more twine or only done two, two um, strands. <laughs> but there we go, I managed it. How about that? I amazed myself. Oh, that's really pretty. So then just trim the ends of the long ones. Get a mini glue dot. And we're just going to put that in our little gap down here. Oh, that is pretty. All right, and now, because I have pearls in the middle of these flowers, I'm going to do the same. Let me just grab them. Okay, just a little wrong end. Wait a minute. to change my end there we go much better Hey Fiona, thank you for joining me. I'm nearly finished, honey, so you might have to go back and watch the replay. Yes, Sylvia, you need to get this set. Oh, it's so pretty. 
when I saw it in the celebration brochure, you know, it did very little for me. I just went, oh, how do I use that? But like with everything you're not sure of, you really need to just play with it and a whole new world opens up. So I just, you know, when I started playing with this set, I went, oh, this is just stunning. And I think a lot of people are going to overlook it. So there we have it. Two really simple and beautiful cards made quite quickly. So what I haven't been on that long and I've made this card. You saw how easy that was. Nothing fancy at all. So there we have it. So you've got the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set, which is free with a $90 order. Or your choice of. You can choose this or lots of other things. You have the Little Bloom Punch. I don't know the proper name. Sorry, I'm bad for that. <laughs> uh, it's free with a $180 order. And then you've also got now the coordinating product available, which goes with this. Um, punch and that is the paper pack which the name escapes me one second I'm really bad with names that's terrible isn't it the please does punch designer series paper so really beautiful paper pastel colors just stunning um, and that's available now in the store you can purchase that to go with this punch and it's uh, $20 for the pack so thank you for watching everyone. I'm so pleased that you could all make it. I didn't have it on my calendar. I sort of just jumped on when I could between making hubby's birthday cake and, and lunch and things like that. So thank you everyone for watching. You can purchase anything that I use. So the take a pick tool, the bone folders, the paper, the pearls, the twine is all available in my online store. So you can go to my online store I will link at the top of this video when it's done or you can go to my blog and there's a link there simply stamping with .com. thank you everyone I hope you all have a crafty rest of your day it's always good to take time out to craft it's good for the soul you can forget the whole world and what's happening around you and just get lost in what you're creating so thank you everyone and I will hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not going to promise anything, but hopefully I'll be back tomorrow at around 2 o'clock and I'll make another card. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.